everybody and welcome back to Teffle Tuesdays. Today I'm going to show you one of my favourite flashcard games to play. I call it Nakatomi Plaza. Welcome to the party, pal! <laughs> Now this is a game that I modified from the 129 different Tefl Lemon flashcard games book that I got from Stuart Allen of Tefl Lemon. If you are in China and you're teaching in China, I highly recommend that you get in one of the Tefl Lemon WeChat groups. They're extremely helpful and full of other teachers giving out other cracking ideas. Now, to play this game, you're going to need some plastic cups and some flashcards. Now the aim of this game is to make a tower as big as possible using all your flashcards. So first you put down a base flashcard, it doesn't have to be within the subjects that you're teaching. I usually just use the back of my flashcards because all my flashcards have red backs so that they're not see-through. So when you're playing guessing games the kids can't cheat. So once you've got your base flashcard down you show your first flashcard to the class which is grandpa and the first student that says grandpa I will call up and asked to make a sentence with the word grandpa. If we are doing sentence structures this week, like this is my grandpa, or my grandpa is 80 years old, I'll ask them to make the sentence with the flashcard grandpa. If they do it correctly, then I will give them six cups. Then ask the children to place the cups down on the flashcard whilst counting. One, two, three, four, Five, six. My favourite number is six. Now the pattern won't always be as clear and crisp as this because they are children so sometimes you'll get one like this or this. If you have any confusion with the children you can just demonstrate yourself to let them know how it is that you want to play the game. So after they put the cups down hand them the flashcard and ask them to place it on top of the cups, like so. And then you repeat the process until you run out of flashcards. Voila! There it is, there is our tower. I usually make it a lot bigger than this because it's a lot more fun when it comes down. And now that we've finished the tower, we get to play a game of Paper Cup Jenga. Now what I like to do is bring the student forward and show them that if I take one from the bottom here, the tower won't fall and place it on the top. And ask the student to do the same. And then they come along and they choose one, or I choose one for them, and we take another cup and place it on top. And repeat the process until the whole thing comes tumbling down. We can start, we can get... And it gets a great reaction from the kids, they love to build it up again. So if you've got multiple set of flashcards or you're doing a review, this is a fantastic game. There's a few ways you can modify this game, one of them is to change the amount of cups that you give to the students. So sometimes I will give them six for the bottom, then go five, four, three, two, one. Sometimes I'll take a dice in, like a huge loaded dice, I'll throw the dice on the floor, and whatever number comes on the dice is the amount of cups that they get. Which also adds to a lot of the fun because sometimes the kids have got to place one cup with a flashcard and then two cups another flashcard. It gets a lot more difficult and it means you can bring the same game in without it getting boring. You use plastic or paper cups but I prefer these plastic ones that are a bit thicker and when they get crushed they pop straight back into shape so if there's an accident in the bag it doesn't really ruin my lesson plan. And that's all I've got time for today. If you've got any questions please pop them in the comments. Questions about China, questions about my life in China, questions about teaching in China, questions about teaching in general then please just pop them in the comments. If you've liked this video and it's been helpful to you, then please smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to the channel. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Happy trails, Hans.